So remember, even though the question is asking us to focus on a specific part of the passage, we still need to read everything because there might be important stuff in other parts of the passage. So let's just take a look. The 1967 release of Harold Cruz's book, The Crisis of the Negro Intellectual, isolated him from almost all other scholars and activists of the American civil rights movement. Though many of those thinkers disagreed with each other, he nonetheless found ways to disagree with all with them all. So I see a but here. Maybe it matters. So, though. He thought that activists who believed that black people such as himself could culturally assimilate were naive. But, there's another but, he also sharply criticized black nationalists such as Marcus Garvey who wanted to establish independent, self-contained black econ- economies and societies even though Cruz himself identified as a black nationalist. So, as always, buts are important when we see them in passages, so I'm interested in that. So what's the, the importance of this underlying function? I don't know. It's more people he criticized. Let's just see what the choices say. Uh, a, it describes a direction that Cruz felt the civil rights movement ought to take. Well, no, because he's he's criticizing people. So this is a this this is a viewpoint that he's criticizing. So it's not a view he thinks people should go in. Maybe you could stretch this to be like, oh, well, if he's criticizing this view, then that means like the opposite view is what he thinks should happen. But it, it doesn't say that. That that's you saying that. So no, this is not definitely. This is definitely not. What he thinks should happen. This is a criticism of what other people think should happen. So it's not a direction. Uh, uh, B, it indicates that Cruz's reputation as a persistent antagonist of other scholars is undeserved. Well, that that kind of sounds like an opinion. Um, and my opinion here is that if the whole thing is about how he's criticizing everyone, it doesn't seem undeserved, right? A persistent antagonist. An antagonist is someone who kind of fights with people. I mean, maybe he's justified in his criticism, but certainly, I don't know, he's a critic. This is kind of what you deserve to be called if you're criticizing everybody. So I don't know. I, I, this just feels like it's it's talking about the word undeserved is too opinionated. But even still, I, I feel like this is an easy thing to show is deserved, right? He's, he's criticizing everyone. Anyway, C, it describes a controversy that Cruz's work caused within the black nationalist movement. Well, caused. Did he cause this? Did he he cause people to disagree with this view or to have this other view and, and to create some sort of debate? No, this this someone else believed this, presumably, right? And and so he's criticizing them, but I don't think he, he caused this problem. He's just commenting on it. So that doesn't seem right. And D, it helps explain Cruz's position with respect to the community of civil rights thinkers. Well, does it talk about his position? Yes. And with respect to the community of civil rights thinkers, well, yes, he's he's talking about um, black nationalists such as Marcus Garvey. So uh, Marcus Garvey is one in example, but he, it's putting it in the context of a um, of a community. So I'm, I'm okay with that as kind of like a, a thing. Um, don't get bothered by this word respect here. This is clearly a trap or they're trying to throw you off the scent. This is not a positive word. This is not the word saying he, they're not saying that he respects these people's view. When you say with respect to, that just means like with regard to, I guess regard is also a word that can be positive. Kind of just like, let's really neutralize it uh, in relation to. That's all they're saying here. It helps explain his position. Yes. In relation to the community of civil rights thinkers, he disagrees with them. So that's the relationship between him and everybody else. So respect here is not a positive word, but this is a very common move the SAT makes in all sorts of places, vocab, passages, transitions sometimes. They use words that you know have a very specific meaning, but actually have multiple meanings. And, and this is not an uncommon meaning of this word, but uh, they're trying to use it to throw you off the scent because this whole passage, if we just dumb summarize the connotation, is very negative. They're throwing a positive word in here to make you less confident in that answer. But notice how bad all the other answers are anyway, so we kind of have no choice. But th- this is not a positive usage of this word. It is purely just saying that he's commenting other people. That's what this whole passage is saying. That's what that underlying portion is saying, is he's criticizing other people.